Hello and welcome to the IT Lectures tutorial on working with matrices. I'm first going to define a matrix. A equals 1, 2, 3, semicolon, 4, 5, 6. As you can see, rows are separated by semicolons while columns are separated by spaces. Now I'm going to make uh, a matrix B with the same dimensions as this matrix A and it will be 2, 4, 6, 1, 3, 5. Now I'm going to demonstrate adding matrices. As you probably know you can only add matrices of same dimensions. So A plus b equals, as you can see, MATLAB added successfully. Now, when I mentioned dimensions, I also wanted to mention a useful function that returns the dimension of a matrix. And uh, that's the following function. Size of the matrix you want the size returned of. So size of A is 2 by 3. Now, Next thing uh, I want to mention is uh, transposing a matrix. And that's done with the following command. B and a single quote means transpose. As you can see, we transposed B. What transpose exactly means is uh, explained in the bubble that uh, just uh, appeared on the screen. Anyway, let's uh, move on. Next, uh, we will multiply matrices. You all probably know the rules of multiplying matrices. So, I'm going to clear the screen here. We're gonna multiply A, which is a 2 by 3 matrix, with B transpose, which is a 3 by 2 matrix. Now, as a result, of course, you will get a 2x2 two two matrix. Let's see it. A times B transpose is exactly what you get after multiplying these two matrices. If you don't believe me, you can uh, try multiplying it manually on your, I don't know, computer, paper, whatever. Let's move on. Now, what if you want to multiply only the numbers that uh, lay in the same positions in these two matrices and therefore create again a 2x3 matrix? That's done with the following command A dot times B. So, as you can see, 1 times 2 equals 2, 2 times 4 equals 8, and so on. I also wanted to show you a few more functions for uh, making matrices and those are if you want to make uh, a identity matrix this is the function to do it so if you want to make a 5 by 5 identity matrix we type uh, this if you wanted to make uh, a matrix uh, with all zeros in it we type zeros of 5 if you want it to be a square matrix. If we don't, we type zeros of 5, comma 2. Same thing with ones. As you can see. Now, what about inverse matrices? Let's return to our matrix A. We can find the inverse matrix with the following command. Alright, as you can see, we got uh, our inverse matrix. Now let's check to see if it's really the matrix we want. So A times P inverse of A equals, as you can see, the identity matrix. Now, as you probably know, not all matrices have an inverse matrix. 
that's uh, why I didn't use a command that exists in MATLAB, uh, which is uh, called exactly like this one, except without a P in front of inverse. At any rate, P inverse will always give you a matrix uh, that will, when multiplied by the original matrix, give you an identity matrix. So if you need an inverse matrix, uh, I would uh, suggest using uh, P inverse instead of just inverse. Now, I uh, also wanted to talk to you about uh, something else, which is the following. Let's clear the screen now. Let's again get back to our matrix A. What if we want to add, let's say, 1 to every number within the matrix? We would use uh, the following command. A plus 1. This command adds 1 to every element of the matrix. Also, if we wanted to subtract uh, a number from every element, we use a minus, let's say, 2, and as you can see, 2 was subtracted from every element of the matrix. Now, for multiplying, it's uh, also the same story, so a times 2, as you can see, every element was multiplied by 2. Same thing for dividing. A divided by 3. As you can see, every element is divided by 3. That's uh, it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have, please subscribe to our channel. Also follow us on our site. The description is in the link below. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions or uh, by all means if you want to give some feedback please uh, comment in the section below. Thank you.